everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Jasmine if it's your first time here welcome to my channel and if it's your second or third time however you're coming back thanks for hanging out with me again if you haven't already done so please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you know every time there's a new video and I'm excited for this topic this is a collaborative um, a collaboration with Ingrid over at Mommy Mia Chronicles I've collaborated why can't I talk I've collaborated with her before and I like this topic. And at the time that I am filming this video, it is the night before she does her live discussion on this topic. So you'll be able to see links to that in the um, description here. I'll have links to the playlist. So go watch that. Um, but just know when you do that I am filming mine now, which is a day early. So maybe I'll learn some more stuff tomorrow. But the topic we are talking about is constructive criticism. How effective is constructive criticism, and what does constructive criticism mean to me? Uh, reading to you. It's my video. So what does it mean to me? So that's something that we're just going to go ahead and dive into. First, I want to say that we, we all try to think of all criticism as constructive criticism, because as true to an extent you can probably get something constructive out of every piece of criticism that you receive however some people don't know how to give constructive criticism and they just like to criticize and i think it's important to be able to distinguish the two um or to at least know your ability to retrieve something constructive out of every negative comment or piece of criticism that you receive and when to know to say mm, and just walk away uh, because if there's something you can gain out of it then it probably really isn't worth your time but so what is constructive criticism i believe constructive criticism is something you feel that you can learn from and build off of so to like give you an example I guess let's just focus on me for a second here because it's just like eh. <laughs> a piece of constructive criticism would be to say um, your lighting your video sucks well I do know it sucks um, it's especially bad now and I feel like I'm talking down to somebody when I'm trying to look at the camera because of the angle and everything I'm still trying to figure out my setup over here in the new place it's whatever um, so one piece of constructive criticism might would be um, you know maybe you need to get a ring light you need to you know, you got too much going on in the background, it's too dark, it's too echoey, whatever. I can take that as, you know, valid criticism and say, well, you know, thanks for pointing out things that I may not have known, but I actually know. Um, and I'll work on that. That would be constructive criticism, just focusing on what's going on right here. What I would define as not exactly constructive criticism would be to say something like, well, I don't like that orange tank top you have on. And people actually do write comments like this on YouTube videos and Instagram and you know they miss the, the entire point of whatever it is you're trying to show or illustrate or talk about and they just focus on one little thing that they don't like and to me I don't really find anything constructive about comments like that because um, that's more of an opinion it's not really something to critique it's just more opinion and a lot of people do confuse the two they think that they can just state whatever their opinion is on something and then if you don't agree with them or if you don't receive it the right way like they intend for you to then it's oh well, you're not open to criticism it doesn't quite work like that um there's not really much that i could say to anyone that doesn't like this orange tank top other than um okay and like you know, if this were an ongoing thing, I could say, you know, uh, maybe this isn't my color. But, uh, again, it, it, it's, those are more opinions, and it's not really something that you can build off of. Um, you know, like I was mentioning, my videos are kind of dark, and the angles are weird, and it's too busy back here. That is, if someone were to say that, that's something I can actually learn from and build off of, think about, and say, well, how can I do this different, you know? They bring up a valid point. The angle is kind of off where it's like she's kind of looking up and down at me at the same time. It's weird. Like, how would I be able to build off that and improve on that? Whereas, if you were to just comment on my clothes or whatever, it's kind of like, okay, 
you don't have to like my clothes. I'm not here for you to like my clothes. Like, that's not why I'm here. Um, it is, it, the point I'm trying to make is that it's important to be able to distinguish the two. And some people are just always going to be critical of you. And it, you're not going to get anything constructive out of it. Some people are just like that. It doesn't matter what you do if you are a writer or if you are a vlogger or a photographer or whatever. Some people are just always going to be critical of you. They're always going to be negative about you. And it's important to just try to receive those kinds of things the best way that you can. And if you can find something within those comments to grow off of, great. If not, take it with a grain of salt. Because that's literally all you can do. If you try to argue with them or defend yourself or anything like that, it, it just kind of feeds that, that inner troll even more. Um, but then, you know, like I was saying, uh, it is hard to define that line of is this something constructive or is this just empty critique that doesn't really affect me. I think we should always try to find something constructive and not automatically assume it's not something that I can learn from. And sometimes that can be really hard depending on what the criticism is, um, especially if it's something that you put a lot of effort into and you have a lot of pride in and you something you try really, really hard at. It can be difficult to see the point that the criticism is trying to make and try to turn that into something constructive. like. You know, I could have, and I didn't, <laughs> but I could have very well spent like an hour trying to set up my little YouTube station here, uh, which for clarification, I didn't do. Um, I literally have my tablet shoved in between some makeup brushes and bottles and stuff on my counter, and it's not how I normally do it. Uh, but again, I'm just not putting any effort into it. I just have it up here, whatever. All I'm saying is I could have spent an hour trying to just set this up and I think it looks okay and I'm going with it. If someone can come out and say, you know, hey, um, are half the light bulbs in your bathroom like just blown out because it's really dark in here. They are. Um, <laughs> but I could take that like entirely the wrong way and just say, oh my God, like, should I just give up YouTube? Should I just block this person? They're just so mean to me. Like, I work really, really hard on this setup. I did. But, you know, I could totally take that the wrong way instead of looking at it for what it is and going, wow, you know what, they're, they're kind of right. You know, I know that I didn't put any effort into setting this up. Uh, I know that I actually need a ring light. Uh, I know that the acoustics and the sound in this room are awful. You know, I, it, 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 it really depends on me as far as that criticism. It depends on me. I can either take it as something constructive and say, you know what, you gave me some stuff to think about. I'm going to work on it just to improve what I have going on. Thank you for taking the time to point it out to me. Maybe I didn't know. Or I can get angry and just say, um, I'm just gonna block you. If you don't like my content, you can just not come around and, you know. Criticism really is kind of what you make of it to a certain extent. There are some things you just can't do anything with. Um, if you were to have someone like, you know, from like a YouTuber example, um, there was a, and this is a fellow YouTuber, I don't even know if she still does it, because I just don't care, um, but she, she was angry at me. We were all in a group um, trying to learn from each other as far as like social media engagement and stuff like that, and she wasn't following the rules, so like as a group, the administrators of the group had to let her go. So she was really angry at me that because I was one of the administrators, but I wasn't the one that like, made that decision. So she decided to download a bunch of videos, which is like the only reason I have downloads on any of my videos. Like it's literally her. Because she admitted it to me and then said something like, it was really weird. It was like, oh, your videos are boring, gross. There's only so much constructive criticism I could take out of that comment. You know, I could always go back and look at stuff, and especially when I first started, like, it was a little boring. And I can say stuff like, you yeah, know, you know, maybe I should be a little more energetic, or, you know, maybe have some flashy stuff flashing on the screen, which would take hours to edit, you know, whatever. There's only so much constructive criticism you can take out of a comment like that. It was the gross part. I was like, I'm not playing with slime or the weird mukbang videos where they're like stuck in their face eating. Like, 
Yeah, I don't get it. Like, what's... Again, there's only so much constructive criticism. You could take out some comments, and the rest of it, you just kind of have to let it go. If you can't find anything constructive out of it, if you can't find a reason to improve or build on yourself or whatever, you literally just have to let it go. I think that's probably, it's, it's probably the most difficult part of constructive criticism is determining whether or not a comment is something that you can turn into something constructive or if you should just let it go. Because um, it can kind of be hard to confuse the two or you just take them the wrong way and it, you thought something was terrible and it was really actually helpful or maybe you thought something was really helpful and really it, it just wasn't. It was just something you didn't really need to be concerned with. That is what I think of when I think of constructive criticism. It can be any type of criticism, but are you going to be able to make it constructive for you, or is it something you need to just kind of move on and forget about? Let me know what you think constructive criticism really is in the comments of this video. And like I said, Ingrid at Mommy and Mia Chronicles is going to have a live video on this, so by the time this is uploaded, that will have already passed, but I'm going to have the links in the description so you can go watch it. Check out what she's talking about. She has a really great series on, I guess for lack of a better word, because I don't want to like whittle it down into a certain niche, self-improvement. So I will let you go and watch her videos, see if you can get something out of it. <laughs> see how I did that there? I'm not going to not gonna say anything that can be misconstrued. I'm just going to say it's self-improvement. So I want you to go watch it and see if you can get something constructive out of it. If you don't feel like you can, well, okay then. What do we just talk about? But go check those links out. Let me know what you consider as constructive criticism. And I'm going to go. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and click subscribe. Bye.